What is up everyone, it's Derek with Nightwater Project, nightwaterproject.com, check out our website more for some original music, as well as some unique cover songs, including Taylor Swift, Bon Jovi, Ed Sheeran, Imagine Dragons, Michael W. Smith, Lady Gaga, and many more. It's mainstream music, but better. So we're coming up on the opening, reopening date of Strasbourg Railroad. And uh, what I got today was an email because I am a annual member, an email with uh, the updated policies, what to do now as far as booking and so forth online. Uh, it must have been a mass email out uh, to uh, everyone that is a uh, annual member. So in that email, it specifically states uh, from the person who emailed me and everyone else that if you're, an, if you're an annual member, they are extending your annual membership by a couple months um, to make up for the, the lost time. Uh, and I think that is very nice. Most businesses are doing something like that. So Strasbourg, kudos to you guys uh, for following the trend and extending uh, the memberships to... Uh, all your annual members out there. Uh, one thing I wanted to talk about though is that they also uh, are requiring for in their policy, um, at least temporarily, that you need to uh, wear a mask while you ride, even though um, <clears throat> some of the coaches are open air, um, they're pushing this across the board. And it looks like over the age of two, two years or older, you need to wear a mask. Well, I have a, a son and he will not leave his mask on. So what I did was I reached back out to them and asked, hey, since you changed the policy temporarily for this, uh, can you issue uh, refunds uh, for, for the rest of my annual membership? And I didn't get a response yet for that, but I'm hoping that they'll be say, yep, because you know we have a new policy and your child is unfortunately not complying with that and, and won't comply with that, um, here's your money back. That'd be fantastic, even if it's towards another, you know, towards another annual membership in the future, that'd be fantastic because, yes, I'm a father to a child, but children, even like two years old, three years old, four years old, they don't understand this stuff. And you really think for, for an hour they're gonna leave a mask on? Now, some do, I've seen some do, but the majority of kids that I've seen do not. So I I get it that it's it's their policy and they it's 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 their right to enforce something like that. But then in return, if I, if you have a small kid or someone that does not want to comply to those rules, they should legally be able to get refunded uh, for that lost time that they uh, don't want to or can't comply to to the new standard rules. Um, so just want to share with that with you. And if, in my opinion, if you do not, um, you know, want to wear a mask and all that stuff and you have an annual, uh, membership, reach out to the railroad and say, Hey, this is not what I signed up for and all that stuff. So I, I want my money back for the remainder of my annual membership. And what they should do is they should, um, abide by that. Um, and if they don't, they're going to have a handful of unhappy members. So, yeah, so it'll be very, like I said, it'll be very interesting to see what they respond to that. I hope they respond um, in a good way and that they understand my side of the story with that and everyone else's that uh, is either not wanting to wear a mask or cannot uh, wear a mask. So that'll be interesting. As far as masks go... I don't know if you've seen my uh, video from the other week. Um, Strasbourg uh, has uh, Day Out with Thomas events, and there's two scheduled this year for September and October. And if they are requiring other people to wear masks, or their, their staff and so forth to wear masks, uh, Thomas should wear one as well. I will go into details in that video. You can find it on our Nightwater Project page. But um, I, if they say everyone should, I think I think they should figure out a way to put a mask on Thomas. And I will be very disappointed if they do not. 
um, kind of like a hypocrisy going on there with the railroad. But anyways, um, my name is Derek with Night Order Project, nightorderproject.com. Check out our website, nightorderproject.com, and also our YouTube page that you find this video on um, for some Strasbourg uh, uh, memories uh, from the past couple years um, that, I, that I took. So uh, just a... Uh, just a way to get through the times right now and enjoy it virtually and so forth. I have a couple virtual full-length videos on there of the whole entire Strasbourg Railroad ride. I think there's one from 90 and I think I have one from 475 as well. So what are your thoughts on this? Um, are you an annual member? Um, it, it's a very cool way to uh, support the railroad. Uh, but at the same time, you know, if their policies... Um, if you don't abide by other policies or you don't want to abide by other policies or can't, it might not be best uh, for you at this time until restrictions are lifted. And that is their restrictions, not the government's restrictions. I just want to be clear with you on that. So again, my name is Derek at nightwaterproject.com. Hopefully everyone has a fantastic rest to your week. And looking forward to Strasbourg on opening day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.